Hello YouTube, today I'm playing the X Plus One and I'm playing Massive Chalice. I already already started the game, but then I was like, wait a minute, nigga, I should totally do a playthrough of this. So I deleted my save game and I'm making a new one. We're gonna make the game called I'm at Let's do let's just play this game. Difficulty, um uh, um, no, what the, brutal? How about no more? Uh, I, I have a hard of time with no more. Okay, we, I haven't played much in this game. Let's do this. Tutorial. Thematic, thematic, serious. We're gonna pick the house. Really dark looking house. Really evil looking house, cause you know, it's getting fucked up, man. All we do in this game is reproduce, have kids. Well, that's the same thing. And then go to war and die. For glory, for honor, for Jorgen. Thought I said virgin, but. <laughs> Thought I said virgin, for virgin! Uh, looks like, it looks like virgin at first. <laughs> Let's go to Vlad. Fuck that. I killed him on Grandpa Dark. Oh, now my spoiler. Oh, god damn. Well, well, I'm not talking about it. I'm not going to tell you what Grandpa Dark I was talking about. Um, let's go to... Sorry about that, guys. Uh, beware the man of one book. That's creepy. Bound by duty, free... What's this? There are no such words in the house forever. Woo! I see this shit. It's taking too long. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own timetable on ours. Oh, it doesn't stop us from trying. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. Rejoice and let bellow the horns of birth. Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding. Oh, shit. The horns of battle. Fine, we'll have to do this later. The cadence is attacking. Here, Alice, jump in. The ruler will be with you shortly. I actually don't mind this. Oh, thank you. Tutorial. We just need you to take command because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking chalice. But the nation will listen to you because you're of their blood. Forged from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. Oh, so you no. will never leave the throne. But do not despair. You can still command your heroes. Look inward. So I'm stuck playing this game the rest of my life? Oh, no, I wanted to play some fucking GTA. I wanted to play some State of Decay. I guess I'll, play, I guess I'll be stuck playing this game forever then. Well, here we go. Yeah? Great. Now, take command and search the area. The cadence is out there somewhere. Hey, why is the my house like last tutorial was different? That bad, you better not call me out for spoiling just now, because that, that that's it's true. It, each house is different. And well each each battleground is different different. I don't know! God damn. Yeah, I did zoom in, zoom out, zoom, zoom, zoom out. Oh my god, your mama. Okay. I like how you can re like this game's all about reproducing and making forging bloodlines. Everyone has like dim rated, lowered intelligence. Oh, these kids are these fucking teenagers? Oh, this kid's 18. Wow. 23. These kids are all my age. I can... I can fucking... With all, why are they all guys? No chicks here? But they're all girls. Now my boy, boy, girl, and girl. You know, let's try to keep these bitches alive because I'm sick of dying in this game. Yeah, we're gonna die that's a damn show, but it's, I get emotionally attached to the characters sometimes. Just kidding. But sometimes I just wanna 
have one kid to survive a little longer. So I'm gonna put the cutest girl. I'm not gonna have a lesbian marriage in this game. Doubt that worked though. Because you know that's for just bloodline. But then the game doesn't want to be like the game want to be, doesn't want to be like oh no we, we're okay with the gays we just got a forge bloodline. And you can't adopt if you want to make a bloodline. <laughs> But maybe we'll be able to make a lesbian marriage. We'll just have to find out. Come on! Like for lesbian marriage! And then we'll have a gay marriage. But we're probably gonna have to, we're probably gonna have, to have a straight marriage in this game. This reminds me of Fable 3. A similar, similar threat they face. Except this one's a little bit more realistic. Okay, are we in a fucking alien planet? But the alien pop up like, yo man, what's up? I punch him in the face and I'm like, yo man, don't fuck him like that. Okay, let's do this shit. Oh, not that nigga! First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the kings. Everyone team up, we might survive! Everyone go in the one big corner! Everyone go in the clusterfuck style! Oh shit! Miss! Yes! to spread corruption in the world. You cunt! Ah! That was it. Oh, I'm fine. I'm gonna get the hell out of there. Get this man. Arguably the lowliest of the horns are more nuisance than this. Attacky. I know, I played this before. But if you're going can to... Can I attack my own friend? Don't let those runts form a posse. Oh, I can't. Keep them apart. Otherwise, it'll be like when Cave and Jack him one. together at a tavern. Except not the best night of your life. Can't have him run back, okay? How about that, eh? One down, untold millions to go. Can I heal him? Guess not. I have to learn how to heal someone later. Can I do this shit? Come back out! We got a ketchup man! We got Popeye's chicken! And we also have the Chinese food if you want some. I could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic bloodlines. Oh yes, we forgot to mention that normal humans cannot survive even a single touch from the kings. But because the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have our power flowing through them, they have a fighting chance. Ready for the pack? Oh. Okay. You hear the explosive flash? I have to have her, her or him go over here. This guy go over here. Wait, wait. He's going the wrong way. Split up everyone, it's the smallest thing to do, it makes everyone get killed. No, hey, you, get away. You little ugly thing, go sit in the corner. Think about your life, I'm gonna go fucking run. Ah! Okay, um, yo, I'm thinking we just go, like, order a pizza and just call this kid off, you know. But, you know, we can't, we can't fight him, but we can fucking join him, you know. Okay. Go a little forward, forward. I, I don't play card games that much. This guy's gonna run in like idiot. What's up, yo? Oh my god. I, I, I love this is getting in shock. Dang, he just knocked that bitch out. Okay, I see this. Here yeah, you have the hunter. Attacking at close range is good, but attacking from afar, where one can think and plan, is bad. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Actually, the hunter will be in front of the group, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? Oh, we still have one little bitch left. Don't fuck with me, bitch. Don't fuck with me! 
I will go to where you live, and I will take a dump in your oatmeal. It makes it into this little. Okay, take a dump there. Oh yeah, I would. Never mind. Ah, that's disgusting. Okay, actually, we can probably move this guy. He's just probably gonna get killed any second. Let me look at this guy. Is this, is this a pretty guy I was looking at? Ah, no homo. Alchemists, brilliant mind in a delicate body. Not worth much in a close quarters battle, but they make up for it with their nasty exploding flasks. Just watch out for the friendly fire. The oh my god, we fucked that one up. Or keep your heroes back. Trust us, you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their concoctions. We gotta go save this, this guy's ass. Hey, on! Get in one spot so we all die to throw a grenade! Hey, what would that make sense? It's like they roll in one spot and, and one of them just picks up a a, 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 a a weapon and throws a grenade and we just all die. I'm like, oh wow, that was easy. So they, the enemy pressed the button like, that was easy. No! No! He's doing. Oh, he's alive, good. You know what I'm gonna say? You know what? You didn't have to cut me off! Pwned. Okay, let's go over here. Wow, we big slapped that thing. Yay, no one died! Better than I expected. Well done. Well done. I knew you'd have a knack for this. Right. So this is our nation, and as we said, we are not in the best of shape. Let's get married. That muck you see surrounding us is the cadence. It's what created the pawns, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the cadence from this world. It's really quite a miraculous process. Well, that's a lucky storyline. The properties of the thing is, it takes a long oh, time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you've just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. With all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. You'll take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the cadence does not reach the capital. What the now let's check out that key piece What the if there's a mod I can do where I can make a lesbian make gay... I know this is probably a gay marriage mod, but... I would love a mod where I can make what make uh, like make my own custom character and make them live forever. But maybe forever is too long in this game. But I want to go through a lot of characters. The keeps. Okay. Bloodline forges of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. I'll thank them later. Here you will appoint one hero as a regent, one as a partner. The more experience they have. Or they'll pass on to their children. It's about that the goes fall. for <laughs> personalities too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, signing heroes to keeps retires them from combat. Oh, so that's her. And the Who cute she is, man. The characters in this game are so fucking cute. I mean, the graphics look like there's something from fucking um, I'm not sure what it's called, but the yeah, characters are cute. Even the ugly ones are cute. Is that one like a fucking Nazi or something? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick two hot girls to marry each other. Please work. I will literally go outside and be like, Woo! Nah. I want to leave the camera unattended. Fertility. Yeah, right, fertility. Maybe that would help the glitch. Black guy? We need a black president. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, we do have a black president. This, this black guy looks fucking badass. I wanna recruit him. Where's someone very fucking cute? It's a Eve. Um, 18. Let's get someone that's 18 married. Ruin their life for them. 
It's like a odd girl. Uh, she's pretty enough. Nah, I'm, I'm very picky. It's a hard choice to make. I'll be stuck in them for at least a, a couple hours. They all look the fucking same like Chinese people. Goddamn. I thought they are cute, but still. Oh, it's Princess Leia. The scenic trace. Siblings, can I make them have embryo to marry their siblings? I'm picking this girl, she looks like a fucking spa space warrior. Nah, I'm picking someone better. This is a girl. Another girl. Chance for children? None. Well, we promised a lesbian marriage. That's why it's gonna be, guys. Many happy returns. Let's give the newlyweds some privacy, eh? You do know they can't reproduce. The two girls. You do know that, Vic. Well, the kingdom screwed! No children! No children whatsoever! We're gonna have to buy some heroes and make a new keep. These, hope, these guys will hopefully die of old age within the next like, couple of places. But I do look, like them a lot. So you got this girl, the lesbian marriage. The lesbian marriage! Woo! I didn't think it would work! Woo! You'll be fine. Now, please join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. Fuck that, I wanna hang out with my friends. My lesbian friends. Oh, I can't? Oh, I'll take off the chalice then. Fuck the chalice. And welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This is where your heroes return to after battle. Woo! Here, so you may equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned, as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Whether it's building new keeps, starting a Sage Rites Guild, or a Standards Crucible. Fun stuff. Well, let's go with a hero, cause... I don't know, but our, our kingdom's kinda fucked, we have two oh, pairs. Yeah. One more thing, the end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet. Yeah, I know. Before immortality gives us an advantage. The ability to step back and let time pass. It's been a long time. We can stop, like, stop this timeline at will, but we'll also stop. We had a lesbian marriage. Require your attention. Like a cadence attack. That is a probable possibility. Next time we'll have a, we'll have a gay marriage eventually, but we got next time we're having a straight marriage, so we can have some kids. But then after the straight marriage, we'll have a gay marriage. If I feel like it, but yeah, we'll probably have a gay marriage eventually. We'll probably have them in the same region as. We'll probably have big neighbors with the lesbians. We'll see you guys later, YouTube.